www.healthcmi.com. The Healthcare Medicine Institute. Acupuncturist Continuing Education Online. And welcome back to part two of TCM Dietetics plus Cardiovascular Disorders and Digestive Recipes. In part two, we'll be covering a lot of interesting topics. Uh, I'm Adam White, licensed acupuncturist. And join me and Professor Jeffrey Pong in this part two section of this webinar. Okay, so uh, now we'll be uh, keep continue to be uh, talks about uh, um, similarity, uh, like uh, uh, stomach ulcer, but now we'll be on the lower portion, on the digestion system. Because stomach will be like upper, that's why we got the ERD, because they come from a, a esophagus. But now this one will be what is in the lower part, that will be in the colons, okay, or small intestinal. So then, uh, one of the kind of um, name of the Western medicine, they call isolated colitis. I actually treat, uh, you know, uh, quite a bit, those kind of patients in the mm -hmm. clinic. Uh, it's pretty complicated disease. Why then? Because in the Western medicine, they talk about the ulcerated colitis. Uh, they are somewhat the pathophysiology or etiology, they are unknown. Basically, they say it's the autoimmune disorder. Uh, some people will be have family reason. Okay? Then they will be had the uh, similarity like a stomach. Uh, they can be had ulcer, then they can be bleeding, and also even though they can be had fever. So then the doctor, the only way they can do is use something like uh, Patterson, those kinds of things related, because it's related with unknown reason. That's what they can be used, uh, those kind of uh, anti-inflammatory, uh, those kind of medication. That. Then the patient report that, they need to be whole life to be take the prednisone. Do you think that's good? <laughs> no. And prednisone can yeah. cause uh, what's called rebound syndrome. Mm -hmm. So rebound syndrome, unfortunately, can make the condition deeper, harder to treat, harder to resolve, may make it last much longer. And rebound syndrome, and this is a standard biomedical term. It's not even just related to Chinese medicine. Rebound syndrome can make very severe flare-ups. It can actually drive it down deeper into the body when it reemerges. Uh, can come back very strongly, therefore always upping, upping, upping the dosage of the prednisone, making the condition harder to treat and even more dangerous. When people use things like prednisone uh, for autoimmune disorders, like uh, even some psoriasis, it can actually turn uh, standard psoriasis into a very dangerous and deadly type of psoriasis. We'll actually transform it. So uh, prednisone long-term is probably not a good choice it can also eat away at the bone structure of the body. Uh, it has uh, effects on the emotions, and we say the liver chi in Chinese medicine. So it's pretty toxic in Chinese medicine. We just have so many ways to deal with ulcerative colitis so successfully, even for those with a genetic history, but particularly for those mm -hmm. whose diets need a little modification. Mm -hmm. So uh, the prednisone solution may not be the best way to go. Mm -hmm. Then another disease, even though the name's different, and uh, uh, they call IBS, uh, they will be, uh, because the main things are uh, similarity in the pathophysiology, some will be, is still unknown. But the IBS, usually people will be not that, we are isolated, the colitis will be bleeding. But the IBS, they will be, can go to either way. Something will be constipated, then later they will be diarrhea, then, uh, but the rest, they treat it the same way. They will be used, cortisol, prednisol, okay, or anti-inflammatory. So now uh, in the TCM, we give you uh, something like a recipe. Uh, you can be uh, take care, uh, you know, that those two problems, first we need to be, had to be diagnosis, uh, because they are not all the same. Uh, the first diagnosis uh, will be put in the low jiao dam heat. So what's the meaning then? The meaning whatever IBS or whatever ulcerated colitis, they will be past the stool will be look like of course you know if they are ulcerated I mean ulcerated 
colitis, they will be have more bleeding. But the IBS too, they will be what is had to be more like uh, stronger or you know the smell. Then also we be had mucus, yellow, look like kind of oozing, those kind of condition. So then we be put it in that category. So uh, how we do that? Actually, quite simple and quite economic. Because the main ingredient, whatever we can be used to uh, fresh, if you can, uh, that will be what? Uh, porcelain. That's the key ingredient. The porcelain, I think on the before we talked about the uh, individual, like a veggie, um, you know, introduction uh, on the seminar, uh, we I will be very recommendation that veggie. Actually, it's kind of just like a wild wheat grow in the every front yard or back yard. I had that too, so um, it's still growing now. Very simple. So that the uh, porcelain, so if you feel difficult to grow it by yourself, it's okay to order from the herb store, they call Ma Chi Xian. But I think fresh is better. I just had some the other day. <clears throat> I went out to a restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, ordered some salmon, mm -hmm. and sure enough, purslane was uh, oh, yeah. a large pieces all over the salmon. Oh, oh, what a great cook okay. on the salmon and the mm -hmm. purslane. I said, wow, powerful medicine here. Here, mm -hmm. of course, uh, we're juicing it to concentrate its power. Yeah. You can grow it in the garden. And so this is one, maybe you cannot find it in the store, along with your basil or what have you. But I but heard you can some people it. say uh, they can be uh, found in like a, a farmer's market or something like a Mexican market. Yes. In, in For example, we're in Santa Cruz County. So if I go to downtown Santa Cruz to the market, uh, the the uh, farmer's market, I can definitely get purslane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Oh, okay. That's, great. That's good then. Yeah, it is. Because the purslane is very powerful. Uh, you know, whatever veggie we eat, that they really require very simple cooking. You just, uh, you know, the uh, cleaning them, then you just, you know, dump it in the water, then you take them out. Okay, don't cook too long. So then we be what? Uh, they naturally, the taste is sour. So then you can be just eat like that. You just put a little bit oil or without oil, or a little bit soy sauce or without the soy sauce. Then you know the tea, if you want, I mean the water, when you dip that porcelain uh, into it, you want to stronger, don't put too much water then. Because after you take out the porcelain, you eat as like a veggie, but you also can drink the, uh, you know, the soup. Because after blanch the porcelain, they will be look like completely changing the color. It's very beautiful too. It's like a purple red. Then eat that. Then also drink the purple red red kind of soup too. So that is the key um, veggie. Another one, same thing too. Is like a matsushen, like a porcelain. They are growing everywhere, every day, <laughs> all season. They will be what? Pu Gong Ying. They will be what? Dandelion. Okay. Why then? Because actually, Pu Gong Ying or whatever dandelion and porcelain in the category of the herbal medicine, they both belong to clearing heat and relief toxic category. Uh, you know, especially for the Lord Jiao, damp heat condition. In order to make that soup or whatever that stronger, you also can be used another herb or whatever food that is dry persimmon. I mean, what uh, uh, persimmon? Uh, what's that then? <clears throat> that actually in the herbal medicine we use at the top of that we call Su D. Okay, that will be regulating the chi. But now we use it that is the dry one. Because the character will be the same, is regulating the tea, but also a, a stringent. stringent. Yeah. The whole persimmon dried, or uh, yeah, just you the can do that the whole persimmon. And the that shirty. whole one will be what is more tasty. But in the you know the um, 
TCM, we had another called pomegranate. You know, the outside... Pom- pomegranate the, uh, Yeah, skin. pomegranate. The skin, we call it Sri Liu Pi. Mm-hmm. It's a similar function. So mm-hmm. you can use it that, uh, you know, the uh, persimmon, but you can also use it the uh, dry pomegranate, the skin. They, because they both is belong to astringent. Then they come with the curling heat and toxic, you know, the uh, like... Uh, Porcelain and then lions that will be make that stronger. So the idea will be what uh, you <clears throat> use it those uh, veggie or whatever the uh, you know those two herbs, then you make soup, then you eat that veggie first, okay? Then you drink the soup together. That will be make the function stronger to try to you know have the first. Uh, kind of the diagnosis say is low jaw dentin. The pa- dandelion, they only have the leaf in a lot of markets, just dandelion leaf only. Is yeah. that okay to... That's okay too. Not quite as strong though. Yeah, right? yeah, to, not quite as strong because they yeah. are kind of, you know, like a farm to be grow that. Then of course a wild one is better. Yeah, so stronger. then simply if you had, the, you know, like a, a yard or had grass lawn or things like that, you know, they often they will be uh, grow on that, then you can take them out, but don't throw away, you can be keep it. That is the... Uh, so the wild dandelion, take the flower, take the stem, take the root whole mm-hmm. and clean and wash, or mm-hmm. is there any part you would not use in this formula? Um, for the dietetic, <clears throat> the root is of course stronger, but the root is is too tough. Too bitter? Too? Yeah, too... Uh, you cannot really eat them or something. No. Because people usually just eat the leaf. Okay, so then, but the, um, like, uh, uh, then the lions, actually, they're selling in the uh, same way, too. Yeah. But they just, on the leaf, then people use it there for what then? It's like a salad or something. Salad, yeah. So then we be what? It's just little, okay? Uh, then they usually mix it with something, another green, like lettuce or any kind. Insignificant, okay. correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, then we be what? Yeah. You eat just like a little small mom won't have any stronger medicinal effect. And this is an important dietetics principle. Mm -hmm. Uh, If you take a a little, people think, oh, I have a big salad, I eat a lot of greens. But if you think about that salad and you go uh, watch uh, traditional Asian cooking, you'll see it's not much. Because if you were to steam your salad and see how much it actually makes, not very much salad, Mm -hmm. not much greens. But when you steam a whole bunch of spinach or you steam a whole bunch of anything or you blanch and and, uh, present, greens uh, in Asian cooking, you know, you can eat in one meal a whole pound of greens. Mm -hmm. So American diet is lacking a lot of greens, which leads to a lot of disease. Mm -hmm. So Jeffrey's saying uh, not enough dandelion in a dandelion leaf. And also, they're very different. Uh, We were referring to in the marketplace, they're big, wide dandelion leaves, kind of culinary. It's not as concentrated, not as strong Mm -hmm. as the wild one, Mm -hmm. uh, which I see uh, right now looking out the window even. So uh, a whole lot of eating. I don't have have all sort of... A lot. You have those kind of... Uh, Yeah, right outside the window. So... um, you know, the uh, ulcerative colitis, it's, it's something that's available. And purslane is great. It has a nice, sour flavor. Again, to review with the purslane, the matcha xian, to blanch it, you can drink the blanched water because now that's your your uh, special decoction to help to uh, stop the bleeding, clear the lower jiao damp heat, and thereby helping to control this uh, ulceration mm-hmm. and inflammatory condition. And then eat the purslane too. Uh, because it's delicious, has a nice sour flavor, so it works against dishes. It's definitely high culinary cuisine. And that's what we're trying to go for is this isn't stuff that's just good for you. It's supposed to be delicious, too. We have to Mm -hmm. be clever and have fun and enjoy the food, so something very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, but the second one, uh, we talked about the the IBS or ulcerated colitis. It's not always damn heat. Uh, for chronic condition, some people will be go to opposite way. Uh, we be considering is the low jiao yang shu or whatever we talk about kidney, you know, deficiency and cold. They can be also cause the you know IBS or you know um, ulcerated colitis too. I think uh, the diagnosis key. Everybody know we don't need to repeat, but now we just talk about the. Um, 
recipe, they can be total different. Okay, so how different that? I will be give you that kind of recipe. Will be similarity like we commonly use it in the uh, TCM, the powerful, uh, you know, like uh, formula or pet medicine. We call like Fu Zi Li Zhong Tang. But now we switch to what? It's just uh, uh, dietetic. The taste is much better. But the function as a set. How do that? So then we be using the Fu Zi, Gan Jiang, and Zhi Gan Chao. That actually is like a what? Is the name called Si Ni Tang? But people will be asking because that is you know introduced for general public. They are not always have Fu Zi, and also Fu Zi will be hot consuming a little bit like toxicity. If you don't know how to do it, actually it's quite toxicity. Quite. So uh, that is optional. So if the the uh, acupuncturist or whatever herbalist, uh, we can be give it the potion all together, give it to the patient. Or if they, without the food, so we can be just use the ginger and look at it. That will be everybody can get it from the market. Then will be what? We cook with, again, like lean pork meat or certain kind of meat to be related with, you know, Good taste and warming. Then another secret. <clears throat> After you preparing those soup ready, then you will be use the clay pot to be cook steam rice, but you little bit more overcook. Then on the bottom, that will be later we we call. Uh, I think the in English name called uh, scorched rice. Scorched rice. Yeah. That meaning, you know, the rice will be what is uh, something a little bit like uh, almost uh, burnt. Yeah, almost, almost, almost burnt. but brown, not black. Actually, you know what? One of the uh, many Chinese restaurants they will be had that kind of dish. They will be put that. Uh, actually, they change the name called guo ba or something. You know, they use it that. Uh, you know the uh, scorched, you know, fried rice. Then put on the you know the dishes, serves is on front of the customer. Then they will be put that uh, I think a hot soup or something. Then you know the steam will be come out. Then has some sound too, like you know uh, look like uh, sizzle. Fun. Yeah, yeah, sizzling rice. Yeah, yeah sizzling yeah. rice or something called yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. So now we will be uh, use that kind of idea, but we will be much more. You know, stronger medicinal use it because they, you know, on the restaurant they cook that just for fun a little bit and for the tasty because they look like kind of, uh, because a little bit overcooked they would be had something look like uh, good smell or something. And they do it. I think they might for culinary purpose they do a little different. Sometimes they'll yeah, fry it yeah. a little bit or mm -hmm. they uh, bake it a little. Actually, bit. Actually, I think they uh, probably put that scotch rice put it in the. Deep fried oil. Yeah, <laughs> they come yeah, out. Yeah. Then they put the soup over there. Yeah. Then make the you yeah, know, seasoning yeah, yeah, right. and put the yeah. So know, not steam. so healthy no. in, in most restaurants. It's not the yeah. true scorched rice mm -hmm. uh, that's traditional. But but same idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah same idea. <laughs> but fun. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> so then we be what we use it that uh, if you exactly use it the food the ganjiang you know the gan chao then you you know whatever with meat or without meat. Then you over, you know, you put that uh, on the top of the uh, rice. I think it's very strong effect for the uh, similarity. Like you take the, you know, the peel we call food, the Zhong Wan, it's good for every, like cold kind of the, shu kind of the stomach pain or abdominal pain. Okay, so that will be what? Uh, it also can have that IBS or, you know, UC. So again, this differential diagnosis. Obviously, if someone has damp heat, this is definitely not the formula to work with. Someone has chronic cold and deficiency, uh, uh, stomach chi deficiency, they like uh, warmth, they like pressure on the stomach, then this uh, warming the stomach concept will work a lot better. And this is very warming, so very strong. Uh, here we have the uh, honey uh, gan chow as opposed to the uh, yeah. shen gan chow. Mm -hmm. 
so that will be what uh, uh, for you know those shoe and cold kind of the uh, patient that will be changing the you know the uh, body condition. So then they will be you know have the um, low gel you know deficiency and cold to be switched to the normal. They will be opposite of the before we give you uh, same you know the uh, say is for the IBS but totally different. Like with the dandelions or uh, with the uh, you know the uh, um Ma you know the porcelain it's good too but depend on what kind of you know patient you differential need to, yeah differential diagnosis, diagnosis. Yeah. that's important also but I'm a big fan of purslane because I like the flavor I like a little we don't get enough sour in the American diet you know American mm -hmm. diet there's a lot of sweet yeah um, it does a lot of salty mm -hmm. but we don't have a lot of bitter and we don't mm -hmm. have a lot of uh, good sour flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so purslane is a great opportunity to really change it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's just oh. so good for the body. Yeah, of course, you know, uh, like you say, you know, they will be, uh, in American diet, we be also uh, use some sour food, but they mainly just like pickle or something, like pickle yeah, little cucumber bit, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that actually, the purslane is kind of the, you know, what the natural, um, like sour. Persimmon, but so sweet. Yeah, yeah. so so, so mm -hmm. I really. Mm -hmm. I I think um, it's popular. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not as big as the orange, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I'm a big fan mm -hmm. of persimmon. It grows everywhere around here. There's a lot of farms, organic farms. So, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, big fan of that. And there's two main kinds of persimmon, as you know. There's a what we usually call the Japanese persimmon, which is hard, and we get uh, in the market. You can eat it uh, while it's still hard. And then there's a uh, standard persimmon, which uh, you wait till it gets very soft. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we dry it. Yeah, we need to be so, dry. So this case is a dry Actually, persimmon. Actually, uh, according to, we talked about the fruit, how we dry it then. So uh, then uh, we, uh, of course, you know, we can put it in naturally under sunshine. But I think now because the um, market demand, I think now they selling many different kinds of called fruit, you know, dryer. Right. That is a very natural way to be do it, you know, the dry fruit by yourself. Why then? Because usually in the market, people, I mean, what the, you know, the, uh, they selling, you know, those kind of uh, dry fruit. You can see the ingredient over there beside the, you know, natural dry fruit. Usually they put sulfur or, you know, put something like anti oxidize or, you know, those kind of uh, chemical things uh, into the dry fruit. So yeah, we don't want good. sulfur. So uh, then, I, yeah. um, those kind of fruit dryer, they will be what naturally, you know, to be without any things. Then you slice the the fruit, any kind of fruit. You can do an apple. You can do many other things. But the uh, persimmon is one of the uh, easy way to do it. Okay. So then you 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 take off the skin, then you slice that. Then they put it on the machine on the trays. Yeah, the trays. Then they take long time. Low, low heat, low, low gray heat. heat. Okay, sun dried. Sun dried. Okay. So again, the uh, the fruit dryers are more and more common. Uh, they're commercially available, so they're just racks. They usually allow some sunlight in the top, or uh, they keep it relatively dry. They let it air out in different tray levels. Uh, I've seen people build it themselves with some mesh, and they put the uh, thing things like people can dry tea in them. Of course, sun dried or fruit. And that's a great way to get the persimmon to concentrate its potency into the dried form for this mm -hmm. recipe. Mm -hmm. But that kind of product is also, they can be uh, selling like near the harvest season in the Chinese market, they already dry for you, okay? But like I mentioned, you know, uh, if you do it by yourself, or, you know, even better, you know, the uh, persimmon. Because that is like traditional food in the nearby the Chinese New Year. So then they will be selling a lot in the market. It's so all the persimmon is dry out. Then the outside of the persimmon, uh, they are naturally formed with something like a, a white kind of the powder, but it's naturally from the, you know, the sugar or something. That actually is herb also, but we didn't teach in the uh, herb class because that is called Shi Shuang. You know, like something like si gua shuang or whatever those kind of natural form, you know, like a white crystal powder. On the outside. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for the outside. Then usually they belong to like uh, cooling, 
and to be astringent and you know good for the throat, but also good for the intestinal. Similar to lohang guo. Uh, uh, no, so it's much. different because that kind of uh, natural forming is always uh, uh, they will be uh, on the outside of the like if, for example, like si gua song. How we do that? You know, we just call watermelon frost. Right. And how do that? Then? They basically we uh, you know open the uh, watermelon, but then we put something like uh, uh, mang xiao or something uh, into it. We can also use the bitter melon to do that too. Mm -hmm. Then hanging on the cool area, then you know those mang xiao has something by chemical changing. Then they come out on the outside of the fruit become a white powder. The persimmon do the same way, but of course they are uh, the nature is different. So uh, cut a hole into the persimmon, uh, or no, slice the in persimmon half. After the you know just naturally, yeah, they naturally will be. They actually for that they are not slice it. They are just put the whole one in the sunshine and let it let yeah, it then express. Yeah, on the, the sugar. The sugar become out. They become a frost. Like a white powder. Right. Uh, no, I meant with Lo Hong Guo that it had similar uh, function on the yeah, Lung Yin. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but, the, uh, mm -hmm. but for watermelon, to get the watermelon frost, add either bitter melon or mang shao into yeah, it. Yeah, they put it into the ingredient, I mean, inside of the uh, watermelon or even cucumber. And then, then let it dry. hanging on the you know, cool, dry area, then they will be laid on for some kind of. Uh, by chemical changing, so then the mang xiao can go through that. Come out on the outside is like a white powder. That's what we scrap that to be make the pet medicine called watermelon frost tablet something. Si gua shuang or spray into the throat. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so now we will be uh, still digestion things, but now we'll be talking about uh, total different things. But that things will be even more common. Because we, before we talked about is diarrhea or, you know, bleeding or loose stool. But now we'll be go to the opposite way. Uh, we talked about constipation. It's still intestinal problem, digestion problem. Same thing again, constipation can be from the heat, okay? Can be from the cold. But now uh, we will be um, talk about something related with the uh, more apply for the elderly. That meaning what really more like chronic and more like a deficient kind. So then uh, we will be using one of the recipe is very good for constipation, but also can be have something male or female in fertility problem too. So the first ingredient that will be what is pine nut. Tan fai xiang. Yeah. Song zi ran. Same thing too. I think in the traditional American diet, we had that thing selling. Lots of pine nuts. Yeah, yeah. a lot of pine nuts yeah. selling in the market too, right? Yeah. So in the Chinese uh, market, same thing too. People like a pine nut. Why then? Because pine tree in the TCM medicine is a very special tree. Why? When the idea, they are very long life. So the pie tree can be, you know, grow for many, many, you know, years, couple hundred years, or even thousand years. <coughs> another thing, the pie tree, the another portion, like a song jie, you know, we use it for, like, treat the arthritis. And even the fuling, fuling is one of the mushroom, but they are like it to grow nearby the pine tree root area. Okay, so then we be what? Uh, in the um, Taoism or whatever that kind of idea, because we always put the human body 
uh, something associated connect with the nature. So then the nature, the high tree is what we talked about, had those many characters. So then we use the song zi ren is a food. But will be what? Tonify kidney yang. Taste, I think, very good too. I think everybody like it. You know, the pine nut. Okay. Then, um, second ingredient beside the uh, pine nut, there will be hu tao ren or whatever we just say, walnut. Same thing. The walnut is special food in the TSM system. Because one of the idea, the walnut will be what look like brain. Okay? So then will be what, uh, even though now we study on the, you know, uh, modern uh, research, is talking about is the most rich uh, have omega-3 in the, because omega-3 mostly is rich in the fish, okay? But in the nut, that is the most rich one. So that will be, now everybody knows something, EPA, whatever, say, you know, omega-3. Ingredients, will yeah. be have the brain or, you know, have everything. Then the third one, there will be like a little bit question mark, okay? We already know in the TCM, we use the whole marin, you know what it is, it's the marine, uh, what the, uh, you know, marijuana seed. But we cannot use it that in here, right? Probably. But of course, Maren. they don't know. Yeah. They we still had the uh, whole on the whole cell. Uh, they kill the they won't uh, germ germination. Okay, but if you feel difficult to get it, how about uh, you know the Western diet? I think if that's an American diet, uh, the seeds probably similar to is like poppy seed. How's that? Uh, flax seed. American or flax seed, but also flax seed. I think more related with. Uh, hu ma ren or something. Yeah, yeah. But the ho ma ren is a little bit different. Because ho ma ren will be considered to be young, something like that. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. might be, we can use it the uh, California puppy seed. <laughs> That's well, what I say. Still, I know. still you're, an you're, issue. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I think legal issues with that, No, right? because uh, we it's can okay see it. Yeah, I'm, uh, you know what, the uh, California puppy seed has been pretty much in the uh, you know what, like uh, scone or something uh, American, uh, you know. Oh, the, oh. Yeah, breakfast, the, those kind oh, of things. okay, not be, picking the plant. I think there might be yeah, wildlife yeah, no, preservation. No. Yeah, poppy seeds themselves. Yeah, but. Tanifa so, young. Yeah, I, what I understand, of yeah. course, in the uh, traditional book, didn't say that because we uh, just say ho ma ren. Right, right. But, you know, ho ma ren, I think we cannot get it in here. Or, you know, whatever, the fresh one. You, 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 oh, we still can oh, I'm sorry yeah. uh, lubricate large intestine yeah, uh, yeah I don't mean yeah. Tanofa Young but uh, yeah, lubricate yeah. large intestine I yeah, apologize for yeah, that uh, yeah. so, so yeah uh, Homa Ren <clears throat> laws are changing uh, mm -hmm. so maybe I mean as an herbalist we can get cannabis indica seeds Homa Ren fire freckled brown seed yeah. uh, is, is the translation um, but actually, I still can order that. You yeah, know, we can my, get it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if the average cannot person cannot germination anymore. It's illegal, so it's yeah, okay. they steam them. But mm. I, I don't see it in the marketplace yet, which is oh so yeah, like, yeah. The food market won't sell, but the herbalist that can be sell it. I mean, yeah, can be buy it. Yeah. But anyway, just say you can. You originally is homarin, but you can think about substitute it by some kind of seed, similarity like that is. Lubricated, have oil, but also it tonified the yang. Okay, so that what I think probably California puppy will be a little bit kept to look like that. Okay, those three ingredients you all powder up. Okay, so it, you know the California puppy is typical or something, you probably just use a flat seed like you say. It's okay too, okay? Yeah, like a flat seed powder. Okay, so then we'll be what? Then uh, later on, we will be using those uh, three ingredients, mix it with fresh chicken egg. Then, you know, like people commonly, you make pancake. Then we'll be using the wheat flour, you know, the chicken egg and milk or something, then you mix it all together. 
then we become a, you know, like a, a pancake powder. But now we talk about that is the herbal pancake powder. <laughs> Very strong because that will be what? Sung Zi Ren, whatever pie, not that is 25 yang, you know, Hu Tao Ren, 25 kidney yang, Koma Ren, uh, lubricated, but also 25 kidney yang, egg, chicken egg, because something related with Jing, okay, fertilizing, okay, the egg, okay, for the human being, same thing too, like egg to egg, okay, like ovary, okay, then we'll be what? Uh, after that, you mix up, um, then will be what you make like a pancake. That will be treat the uh, certain kind of the uh, constipation. But don't forget that's more related with yang shukai. Yang deficiency. Mm -hmm. Yang shukai. So then will be what is also to treat the infertility too. If they sampling to infertility, we can divide to many different kind. But then one kind that we be what is related with kidney yang shu. But we also have for infertility, we have of course the uh, chives with pine nut omelet. Yeah. yeah. So great omelet. Uh, actually, we had another omelet we be related with like uh, chive, you know, uh, chicken egg, but also shrimp, you know. Ah, shrimp, shrimp yes. Yeah. And the Chinese medicine theory mm -hmm. on shrimp. Remember, the shrimp makes uh, many eggs. <clears throat> so it's a symbol of fertility, but also uh, because the shrimp lays so many eggs, it lets us know about its function for fertility. Mm -hmm. Much like uh, traditionally, and this is more of a cultural thing for New Year's, maybe the pomegranate mm -hmm. has so many seeds and also fertility. But in this mm -hmm. case, the shrimp ha actually has the function of uh, benefiting fertility. So we do like to use the shrimp, uh, chive, and uh, pine nut uh, benefit young omelet. For fertility, so great to throw that in, and we will be having an up-and-coming webinar on obstetrics and gynecology uh, coming up the end of September. So go to www.healthcmi.com to look for that, uh, and we'll be having a dietetics webinar specifically on that, covering a lot of great recipes. And another recipe that will be very simple and uh, very uh, common to be uh, used for everybody. Uh, because that will be what if we just use it uh, uh, walnut again, but we'll be combined with hei uh, zima or bai zima, okay, sesame. So then both they are make powder. Then uh, very simple, just like in the uh, Western diet, uh, we use it uh, like oatmeal or something. Okay, or cream, okay? So that will be what? We just use the hot boiling water to, you know, to uh, mix it over. If you want to be make stronger, you also can be at He So Wu. Uh, actually, He So Wu, besides we say is tonified, uh, uh, you know, blood, actually they will be has somewhat like uh, the chemical ingredient will be somewhat related, look like Da Huang. So people will be take the He Shou Wu, beside, you know, to tonify the blood, it also will be, you know, help the uh, bowel movement too. And good looking hair, so mm -hmm. we love He Shou Wu for keeping the, I think I need to use He Shou Wu. I, <laughs> I, I, I haven't gotten around to that one. Probably should keep the hair from going gray. But yeah, He Shou Wu does move the stool, mm -hmm. so, uh, and it's a blood tonic, so for deficiency. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a breakfast cream in particular. Yeah, like breast cream. Walnut, black sesame paste. Uh, you can have a, the He Shou Wu mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. powder in there, Yi Ren. Uh, and remember, yi ren is typically in Asian markets available in powder form, mm -hmm, much mm -hmm. like people would buy a cream of wheat. Mm -hmm. So you would also ha have a, like an instant yi ren. Mm -hmm. People get instant oatmeal, that kind of idea. Mm -hmm. uh, you, I guess you could add honey to this quite easily. Oh, yeah, you definitely. Know, lubricate yeah. the large intestine. Actually, it's better. Okay? Yeah, and yeah. tastes is better, too. But those things, it's more that it's just like for, you know, deficient kind of people. But if the people who had like uh, uh, constipated, uh, it's like excess as a heat or something. We actually, uh, you don't need to take those kind of, uh, you know, cream things. You just eat more like a veggie, 
like it's something we talk about something very strong fiber like a tung sin chai or just more veggie more exercise okay and even though you can occasionally to be uh, take a little bit like da huang or fan xie ye those things okay but that just for you know like strong, younger yeah, yeah. excessive people right, but for right. the older we need to be just like more like tonify the yin and tonify the blood and lubricate it so that's what the idea and i am a little concerned a lot of uh, over the counter uh, herbal medicines yeah they store, selling the fan xie ye but right? they push the fan xie ye for, a lot of people take it long term Mm -hmm. uh, a lot not so good they use it for like weight loss mm -hmm. so be careful <laughs> because it's you know it's a harsh expellent also mm -hmm. i wanted to give an update for our voices here pang da hai look how big this one got oh, that's one be pang da hai very so this little guy right here turns to this and it's it's um the center is a very sweet fruit it gets sweeter as it soaks you can drink the water again you can um eat the fruit now to compare it not all of them expand in the same time this was put in the water at the same time and you can see uh, this one will take longer depending on how they expand uh, they will be a little different but it's fun to go over that the pang da hai it's great for opera singers actors uh, any kind of singer uh, also heitza you can suck on the heitza if uh, you need something a little stronger and again you can mix this with muhu da it works quite well Okay, uh, so now we'll be talk about another topic. That will be also very common too. Uh, we talk about the hepatitis. That will be particularly for the Asian. But uh, we talk about uh, now this kind of dietary treatment is not necessary. Say people who will be or who already had the hepatitis. We just say mention something like uh, to be maintain, you know, the liver function, to be, you know, help to prevention, uh, the any kind of uh, gallbladder or liver damage. Uh, first, we talk about the liver. Later, we be talk, had some uh, talks about the gallbladder too, the you know, like stone or those kind of condition. Okay, so one of the kind of um, Dietetic herb. Actually, we, when the herbal medicine, we didn't, at least some can be learned from the, you know, the, uh, like a formula or something. But mainly, we selling those kind of herb is in the supermarket. I don't know if we had that imaging or not. It's called Ji Gu Chao. You know, the chicken bone grass, probably we don't have. No, we don't have that one. We yeah, but that then one like uh, it's very common to selling in the, um, like, uh, you know, the Asian market. Asian market. They just put it in the packaging. Then we be put the, uh, called Ji Gu Chao. Okay, the idea is, uh, the name is related to what is called uh, chicken bone grass. Ji Gu Chao. Then we just use it that to be like uh, uh, for maintenance. People will be like cleansing. You know, now have many methods to be uh, talks about how to, because we, everybody know the liver is the major organ to be, you know, uh, cleansing the toxicity or, you know, the chemical things. So then, but when the liver cleansing those things, but at the same time, the liver will be toxicity from those kind of chemical or, you know, uh, any kind of pesticide, those kind of pollution, those kind of things. So then the uh, liver is extremely important the function. Uh, we need to maintain to be, you know, good or, you know, not toxic from the uh, chemical or, you know, uh, pesticide, those things. So that's one of the choice, okay? So then in order to make the uh, that recipe is stronger, so then we be what? Uh, we uh, we be using the ji gu chao, then put the hong chao, and you know lean pork meat or chicken something we because we just want to make the taste better so jigu chow that mm -hmm. is an important herb mm -hmm. so uh <clears throat> and the taste is pretty good too yeah it's uh it's a kind of a grass 
uh, Asian markets mostly. Uh, and in the future, we'll be looking into how do people order these things when they can't get them typically, but any major city will have it. But this uh, eliminates uh, blood stasis. It clears heat and toxins, particularly in the liver. So when people are having severe liver problems, when they're having issues with hepatitis, um, and unfortunately, uh, things like uh, cancer issues that they're worried maybe they want to prevent toxicity from building up, Jigu Chow is a very powerful and important herb. Mm -hmm. You can get it in pill form. You can buy it in your earth from the herbal store. You can have it in the Asian market. But again, building this into the daily diet, you now are constantly cleaning and cleansing the liver. And I think in America, people say, oh, I'm doing a liver cleanse. And they tend to do very harsh things that are somewhat stressful in the body for a concentrated week or two, uh, whereas opposed to just putting Jigu Chow in the diet is not stressful on the body to suddenly purge and cleanse toxins from the body, and yet you get the benefit of the uh, Jigu Chow for the same function more gently over time. So Jigu Chow. Mm -hmm. But if you difficult to get the Jigu Chow, so then we can be give you another alternative choice. Uh, that will be what? It function will be similar to like uh, uh, we call Ba Zhen Tang, uh, that meaning what, like uh, uh, four gentlemen plus like uh, four substance, that will be general tonified qi and blood. But now we will be used it for dietetic margin, tang or gao, okay? So what's that meaning then? We will be choose some kind of very mild but tasty food. We can be powdered up, become a, uh, like a uh, paste. Okay, or you can pick like a steam, like a bun, or you can make like a cake. So the main ingredient, they will be like yiran, qian shi, san yao, lian zi, or, and bai bian dou. Those kind of herb, or actually mainly is the bean. So we can be powdered up, then you can be mix it with the, you know, the whole wheat flour, or you can mix it with like uh, rice powder. I think those kind of ingredients will be especially good for the children when they, you know, have somewhat, uh, you know, kind of weakness of the uh, liver or something, uh, they will be happy. And also another thing can be add on that too is like the uh, Dong uh, Chong Xia Chao flower. Okay, we call Chong Chao Hua. Why then? Because Dong Chong Xia Chao cost is good, very good for the liver and the kidney, but it's too expensive. Then we can be use it something, I think on the imaging before we mentioned. We'll, we'll look for that. Yeah. Yeah. Chun Chong Hua. Like, yeah, Chong Chao Hua. Oh, yeah, we can get that. Yeah, oh. that will be very easy to sell it. I mean, easy to find that in the Asian markets. Yeah, yeah, Asian, Asian market. markets. It's kind of the mushroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But taste is good. Yeah, like that kind of uh, Zhong Chao Hua, you know. Then we be what? Um, you know, they have something like a flavor, a little bit like shiitake mushroom, but a little bit different flavor. But it's very really nice flavor, too. And so this is an inexpensive way to get the uh, yeah, Dong Chong Chao Chao. Yeah, yeah. Dong Chong Xia Chao is just too much expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. So, so, But that one will be much easier. Yeah. Okay? Then the taste is good too. So then we can be make like a, uh, flour or something to be, you know, to have the liver. And for the children, sometimes you also can add a little bit Shanja. So a little hawthorn. Yeah, to be help the open the appetite, and also you can be make the you know because we make bun or something like that, then make something sweet. So then we be what yi tang is another choice. So the mm -hmm. idea we be what is just make something like a, uh, a barley malt. Yeah, yeah so the bun or you know uh, because steam you know bun, that yeah uh, steam like a, bun make a flour or and steam bun cake yeah. or something. You know that in the Western diet or you know, something pastry. They have many different kinds. 
all is come from the wheat flour with a lot of sugar, okay, <laughs> uh, to be make uh, you know uh, those kind of cake, 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 cake. Yeah, yeah. So then I uh, had a lot of uh, cream or you know milk or you know cheese, like especially cheesecake or something. That will be very dampness, okay. So now we be what that is another uh, alternative, the help, you know, way to be uh, make something like a small bun or something like a small cake to you know good for the children to maintain the you know the uh, good liver function i was looking for the many kinds of tcm preparation yeah uh, but again <clears throat> uh steam bun or the medicinal cake mm -hmm. is one of the traditional forms of uh, TCM dietetics yeah and I'm mm -hmm. not seeing it come up here mm -hmm. of the types of mm -hmm. um, no we had that is that kind of the, on the very beginning we talked yeah about that. I'm looking for that mm -hmm. the five mm -hmm. tastes we mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not quite seeing that slide mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at the moment but anyway there's herbal candies herbal mm -hmm. cakes mm -hmm. uh, or herbal buns herbal okay. buns mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's so many uh, topics of course that we cover mm -hmm. uh, and so I just wanted to uh, mention those things mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. the cake is uh, good so you can again we're making cakes with things like um, mm -hmm. with the shan, shan yao or you make mm -hmm. a cake with the yi ren or the fu ling mm -hmm. these all can be made into powders for making mm -hmm. uh, dim sum buns and cakes mm -hmm. uh, things like that mm -hmm. um, I will get us Somewhat close to where Jeffrey, you can pull mm -hmm, up that hepatitis mm -hmm. slide. Mm -hmm. uh, we're back at in our uh, varicose veins slide. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see where we are. There it mm -hmm. is. Constipation yeah. slide. And we be the next slide should be we talks about the uh, gallbladder stone. All right. Or infection. Let me uh, check for that. Yeah. GB stone and infection yeah. is right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that will be what is very common issue to why then? Because uh, we talked about those uh, gallbladder infection. I think you probably heard the, uh, you know, triple F story on Western medicine. What's the triple F then? They will be say, you know, fatty, 40, and uh, uh, female. Okay. Female, <laughs> because we had uh, for my practice too. I treat many patients who had, of course, they are very big, you know, like uh, uh, gallbladder stone uh, or you know very strong gallbladder infection. Then they will be treated by antibiotic, or you know, then if stone, they will be treated by surgery, mm. or you know those kind of con uh, situation. But I think some people will be. Um, Kind of the uh, deep diagnosis by Western medicine, or you had something strong, but it's uh, many small one. Uh, I don't think they will be uh, want to be go to surgery. To surgery yeah, okay, yeah. so that's what something uh, we can be treated by the you know dietetic treatment. Of course, plus the acupuncture treatment, so that will be uh, you know then help the body not quickly. But we be slowly to be passed by body self. I think even though in the uh, in here something called uh, folk medicine or natural medicine, I think you probably heard about that too. Talking about something like uh, uh, drinking, like uh, you know something seven days period, uh, you know program. Uh, first day we be drink something like apple juice, you know like uh, uh, three times a day. Then you know. On the last, then they will be talks about uh, to drink something like olive oil, <laughs> right? Okay. Lubricate, uh, uh, lubricator. Okay, then you know to be have to like a you know cleansing to make the past the the stone. Uh, but now <clears throat> I can give you a little bit more easier way to be you know to cleansing the. You know the gallbladder, okay. Yeah. Not only the gallbladder. Actually, people who get the gallbladder stone, but gallbladder and you know the pancreas is very close, okay. You know the liver, you know system. So then, uh, we not really when they had really like a mild 
uh, congestion or infection, if you didn't take care, they can be changed into one very serious condition, uh, like a what, uh, pancreas cancer mm. or something. Okay, like uh, Stephen drop or the, you know people get that kind of thing. Okay, so I think uh, we use that is something like uh, <clears throat> prevention and treating the you know liver and gallbladder system. So again, uh, daily dietary changes here we can help ward off some of these diseases by building in again before we mentioned the ji gu chow cleansing the liver yeah so now we're moving on to some other things that help the gallbladder it's more help actually the they get infection or has them yeah so chronic irritation and infection can predispose us uh, and stagnation can predispose us to changes in the cells which are we don't want. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's take a look at some of them. Yeah, because some uh, actually chronic, uh, some kind of like, uh, especially overweight, uh, those kind of female, they actually have chronic, you know, the uh, whatever infection in the uh, gallbladder or, you know, the uh, pancreas system. Okay. Then uh, sometimes, you know, those kind of, because it's kind of like a mild infection, so then even though the Western doctor is didn't, you know, uh, prescribe the uh, antibiotic, the antibiotic they just periodically to be used for a little bit while, then they need to stop. But then, you know, because it's chronic, they are never go completely goes away. <clears throat> so now we be using something like a daily basics to help the body to cleansing, you know, the whole, you know, the uh, bio duct system to be, you know, to take care of the infection or, you know, even though the stone. Okay, so there it is. You've got a subclinical, <clears throat> subacute system that has chronic inflammation, irritation that occasionally flares up as an infection. The doctor, what are they going to do? Give you some kind of anti-inflammatory and some antibiotics when it gets out of control so you don't die. But what can we do in between? on a daily basis with a diet. Besides clinical herbal medicine and clinical acupuncture, which are very good acupuncture to open up the channels yeah, where like the food- Yeah, like we do GP34 or Dan Nang Shi or ah, something. That's a good one yeah. on the leg. Mm -hmm. Very special uh, point just below uh, stomach 36. So it's just in that region, very special mm -hmm. uh, for this condition. Uh, we can now talk about these things where it's not flaring up, might be uh, not even irritation at the time. And remember that right shoulder pain is also an indication, especially after eating fatty foods, an indication of problems with the gallbladder uh, so, and stones. So think about um, problems with emulsifying fats or literally manifest as right shoulder pain. That's straight biomedicine, not even Chinese medicine. So there's a lot of signs and symptoms, of course, local pain and discomfort, difficulty digesting food. Uh, and of course, a uh, patient may have had ultrasound and they know they have these minor stones, they get infected, not enough. You know, what's the doctor going to do? They're not really, doesn't really warrant surgery, may occasionally need some intervention with antibiotics. Here we are. We've got something for cleansing. Okay, and we see so a lot of the, people doing this. Uh, first, you know, recipe, actually, Adam, you had both in your bed, yeah, now. Okay. You know, the first thing we say is the, for the infection, okay, the Meyer infection. So then we be what? We need to take out the fresh pu gong ying, dandelions, like on your back. That now you be need to be with the, the root, as many as you can. Because pu gong ying or whatever we call zi hua di ding, the idea will be what? Because they say, you know, the root will be look like nail. You know, the earth nail. That's what the name. Okay? So you can be have experience. If you want to take them out the whole root with the you know, the dandelions, it's not that easy, but you think can be just breaking on the... Right. Yeah, on the... We really dig them out. Yeah, but now we'll be what? We will be whatever we can to, to pick many fresh, you know, the dandelions. Then we will be cooked with honeysuckle. And both, I think, uh, fresh is better. Okay? So then we be what? Um, like now in your bed, yeah, you know, you had grow now. A the, lot of honeysuckle. Yeah, honeysuckles were open now. Then, you know, you had that things on your, uh, you know, bed, yeah, for the, on the, on the young area. You be at that, uh, you know, honey, 
I mean, what, uh, dandelion. Okay, so those just kill. You take them out, then you're just boiling with strong, you know, the soup. What look like the taste, I think it's kind of bitter, but that will be moderated with the honeysuckle. Because honeysuckle, when they're fresh, they actually have somewhat uh, sweet. That's what the name, okay? Honeysuckle. It has something honey, okay? So then after those two, especially we recommendation say is the fresh one. I think very nice. So uh, would you just steep them or you boil them as oh, a Oh yeah, decoction? you boil them or, you know, but especially because the, uh, you know, the honeysuckle, you can just uh, put in that. Uh, at the, at hot, the end, yeah. by steep. But the, uh, the pukong ying, you know, especially with the root, uh, we'll be boiling, become a tea, then how do like I actually drink that before too. Uh, kind of bitter a little bit, but it's pretty good bitter, the taste. And also the color too, is look like really, look like yellow, green. Okay, so that will be good for the, you know, the liver. We know that like five element, then will be what is green color, okay? Then the yellow will be what is plain. So that actually is something related with, like, uh, bam, heat in the middle jaw. So, and On I asked that question. the liver system. I asked that question because we know that the bitterness is stronger the longer you boil it. So mm -hmm. if it's too much, boil it less. Mm -hmm. uh, steeping isn't going to be enough, apparently, to get the, the medicinal quality out of the root. Yeah. But then we can steep at the end the honeysuckle because, it, you know, just like in herbal medicine, the heavier, mm -hmm. more compact things mm -hmm. boil longer, add the leaves mm -hmm. and the things that are lighter later. Same thing with the honeysuckle. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, Seems very simple. But, you know... If you continually to do it, so uh, it's simple and it and also it's economic. You 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 pay nothing if you had that at your home. Okay, people will, you know grow that by yourself. That will be what if you like now the uh, uh, liners because you didn't take care of that. So then they just uh, grow that like a wildly. So then it's good, but uh, if you will be uh, just put them together, more watering, okay, more put the organic, you know, f fertilizing. So then the pukong yin they will be become a look like a very nice, very strong and medicinal. Okay, then will be what? Everybody can do that. You know, if you had, even though just small, yeah. Okay, then you can grow those two things in your you're very handy and you can get that you know four season too so that will be what uh, i will be very strong to recommendation uh, people you know use it your uh, what we talked about herbal gardening herbal gardening but that just too simple so easy simple to, so uh, easy, uh, easy and clean up the garden through. too yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh <laughs> We also use, uh, in honeysuckle here, we, mm -hmm. we're using uh, part of the flower, but uh, also use the root uh, uh, a lot. Actually, if you use it, the root, we'll be just, we kill the, you know, the honeysuckle plant. So we probably we use it, the, or the stem, branch. A little the, bit of the branch. Yeah, the yeah. branch. Because the root, then we can, you know, we just keep it, and they can grow, you know, yeah, you yeah. Know, for a long time. So I know we use part of that. And actually, yeah. had a little bit of technique, too, because the honeysuckle, some people don't like it to uh, grow them. Why then? Because if you don't take care of them, they will be kind of, like, aggressive. They like spread too, you know, uh, to be uh, too difficult or something. So then uh, if you want to, you want to be more keep it, you know, in the in the shape or in the, you know, uh, then you can just, you know, you cut them, you become uh, like, a, uh, don't just let them go whatever they want, okay? Then you keep it in the place, then they will be very nice. Okay, then they will be just, uh, you know, you can be like decoration, but then you can be at the same time is medicinal. Why we do that, okay? So that will be what uh, the garden is more beautiful, but then also will be the uh, medicinal. I'm a big fan of honeysuckle. Mm -hmm. And as you can see from my garden, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a very yeah, big yeah, fan yeah, of honeysuckle. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah so because, nice. because uh, you know, they think, uh, you know, not really uh, 
uh, because they didn't take care of them. They just want to then just grow, grow. Then we be what well, is hard to be uh, keep it in the shape. Okay? But uh, also, you use the honeysuckle vine in uh, Wu Tong Yin for yeah, benefiting yeah, it is, the limbs. It's called, you know, uh, Ren Dong Teng, you know, the uh, honeysuckle vine. Okay? Right. Mm -hmm. And so it's very special. Mm -hmm. We use that in case people like have carpal tunnel syndrome or some kind of uh, mm -hmm. tendon disorder mm -hmm. and circulation mm -hmm. disorder. Mm -hmm. We can use that in formulas yeah. uh, very successfully. Mm -hmm. It's one of the main ingredients. Mm -hmm. But Quan Jin Tang mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. can combine very yeah. nicely. Sang Jiu can go in there yeah. maybe. That is for something like uh, in fashion. But if... Uh, People who had the, uh, you know, the uh, gall brother uh, system, uh, not only just the mild infection, they also had stone. How we take care of that? We still use the pu gong ying to make, you know, the soup. But the combination will be different. Because if you want to be move the stone, so then not only just have the infection, how we make the stone move that. So we need to be using some herb. They actually, after we taking, they will be make the, you know, intestinal and uh, uh, the gabra tube will be moving. So then uh, I will be give you two uh, herb to be add on the tea. One will be what, Jin Chen Chao, again. I think we mentioned that in the, um, you know, the urination system, we use it that for like a, a urination stone. But now we will be use it for cow brother stone. That herb will be a little bit interesting. They actually take care of both. They can have the uh, urination track stone, but at the same time they also will be cleansing on to make the uh, Gabra the duck had something movement. And also if we want to be more stronger in fat, another secret too. So uh, after we cooking those, you know, the dandelions and the uh, Jin Chen Chao soup, then we will be put a little bit Mang Xiao on it. So what's the Mang Xiao? There will be similarity, uh, like a what Epsom salt. So you can come in to buy it. Uh, of course, if herbalist, uh, you can order that uh, from the uh, from the herbal medicine herbal, supplier. Yeah, supplier. Very strong. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, if you want, you also can buy. I mean, from the like. Uh, uh, CVS or those kind of drug store to buy a little bit absent so but of course absent so they have two different kinds of that one would be for people soaking in the water to be external yeah only. external use it but some will be say internal internal usage mm -hmm. so be careful don't mm -hmm. use something that's only <laughs> pure enough for external internally mm -hmm. Mang Xiao is specific for internal use uh, can be used externally, of course, mm -hmm. uh, mang xiao, but it's mm -hmm. specific for internal. Because you put a little bit of mang xiao over there, the action after you're taking, they will be cause the intestinal movement. That will be what? Cause diarrhea. That actually we use it for, you know, like, a, uh, you know, purging formula, something like a chen qi tang related. But then, now we use it that for, you know, the gao brother stone, then we need to be adjust a little bit the uh, dosage. Then you can be uh, tested. See, you know, like uh, uh, one chain or two chain or three chain because everybody the reaction with the uh, the mang xia will be different. Some will be a little bit small one among is already will be cause diarrhea. But now in here, we want to be not actually diarrhea. We want to be just say, a little bit like loose too. But at the same time, they will make the, because the, you know, the digestion tract system to be had movement. Okay? Then in order to make that, uh, you know, 
to be make the stone stone goes, move, move right so again mang shao induces peristalsis uh, strongly but not enough to induce diarrhea so three to nine grams tops mm -hmm. uh, maybe less even probably in some cases yeah yeah so and, then uh, um, yeah. yeah then the patient just need to be find out the why you know the mang of the uh, mang xiao and we add this to just at the end. And, yeah. To so we make the, the tea we talked about with the uh, honeysuckle, with the dandelion. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, so boil the dandelion first, mm -hmm. then steep the honeysuckle. And then at the very end, you can, you don't need to mm -hmm. cook the man chow. Just add it mm -hmm. into the cup, just a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Again, we don't want to use it as a harsh expellent mm -hmm. uh, to purge, to move uh, and soften. The area, but mm -hmm. also remember Jin Chan Chow. We can also mm -hmm. add into this, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and mm -hmm. Jin Chan Chow, the gold coin herb, uh, we use it uh, for urination bladder yeah, stones. Yeah, yeah. We do that but before. here also we're using it for other stones. Mm -hmm. uh, why it's so incredibly valuable? Mm -hmm. And remember, mm -hmm. it clears damp heat in the liver and gallbladder. So Jin Chan Chow is uh, very effective for getting into the liver and gallbladder channel, mm -hmm. but also has the function for stones. Mm -hmm. Why we apply it not just for the kidney, but also mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. liver. And also, uh, number three, that thing, the combination, uh, we still use it, the Pu Gong Yin Tang, you know, the dandelion and soup with the, uh, but also we can be used that for pet medicine, one of the, or formula, we call Long Dan Xie Gan Tang, that will be very strong to be, have the jaundice, okay? Or another pet medicine, the name called Li Dan, okay? So then we be what? To be, you know, go together, so you be what? Uh, on the recommendation on the bottle, they just say with the warm water to be take those pills, the dosage. Okay, like for example, like eight pills three times a day or things like that. But now I will be give, tell you if you use it the uh, dandelion soup as a uh, part of the, you know the uh, just use it that for taking the pill together, so that will be much stronger. Mm -hmm. So increasing the function. Mm -hmm. Li Dian Pian is. It's almost, I think for the American diet with greasy fried, with bad foods, it's, it's, it's almost miraculous. It affects uh, mm -hmm. people who get a lot of uh, pain associated mm -hmm. with gallbladder issues. Li Dan Pian is pretty good, pretty, pretty good, good patent medicine yeah. or uh, many other forms. And mm -hmm. what Jeffrey's saying is here, by adding the dietary uh, changes, mm -hmm. we can uh, increase the strength of that.
Okay. So I wanted to take a moment <clears throat> to review a topic. Uh, we had a lot of requests to go over the topic of weight loss again mm -hmm. uh, because weight gain is so popular in America. Uh, and Jeffrey, we had talked about some really interesting things. For example, that ice water, mm -hmm. we know it, it can injure the stomach, chi, but it also tells the body, like in wintertime, to preserve fat, tells it to slow down the metabolism with its wintry coldness. Yeah, uh, that's what the main, uh, you know, the problem with the, you know, in, uh, U.S. too. Before, because we don't have those kind of machine to be, you know, provide the ice water, you know, all the time, because before it's just natural. We drink the water just from the, you know, whatever the, you know, the weather, uh, the temperature, then we be drinking those kind of, uh, you know, water. But now because the, you know, the, uh, the modern technology, so we provide that very hot weather, we have air condition, make very cold. Then we drink, you know, the water is ice water, is very no cold. Ice. Okay, but that actually is against the, the nature. Okay, so then the uh, when nature outside the weather is hot, so inside is hot too. Okay? Not harmonious. Yeah, so then the water too outside is hot. Then you know the water is uh, kind of warm. Okay, but now you against that. So outside is very hot, but we make like uh, you know, especially the Hong Kong or those kind the tropical area. They even make the air condition stronger. People, you know, when very hot day, they get into the like department store or something, very cold. Very cold. So, okay, so then will be what? Actually, like I mentioned, it's against the, you know, the nature. Right. Okay, right. so now that's what the cause the, you know, that's what the people who had the uh, diabetes is more, uh, the air condition and the ice water, actually is the one of the kind of fact, you know, the factor. Because people will be just want to be, you know, uh, because when very hot, the body, suppose, you know, uh, increased metabolism, then we'll be sweating, you know, those kind of conditions, okay? But now because the air condition, we don't have sweating. And we cold, you know, we drink the cold water uh, all the time. So then to make the body what is assuming it's like a winter, okay? Then there will be generations more fat cell to protect the body itself, okay? But that will be what is obesity. Right. So that's what, of course, another issue that will be what exercise <coughs> then people because same thing too is caused by because the you know the uh, the technology because now we don't climb the stair you know at all because we had the uh, you know the lift okay elevator, elevator escalator okay everywhere okay so then the automobile everywhere so we just lack of the, you know, exercise. Those kind of things we not really can be exactly can correct by, you know, only just the uh, battery. No, okay? exercise. Yeah, so that's important also. But beside that, we mentioned those kind of, you know, the uh, dietetic, of course, important also. Why then? Because now, even though we talk about those kind of individual good food, the idea just say the food should be less you know what, carbohydrate, but also will be less sugar, okay, less greasy oil. So what kind of food will be fit for that kind of system then? Then like I especially mentioned, like, uh, you know, the bamboo shoots. Nothing had any carbohydrate, no uh, any sugar. Actually just say only is fiber. Okay, that's why it works. But you you don't difficult to get the bamboo shoot. Try to find out whatever something veggie, okay. But basically, all the veggie is had good fiber. And not we're not really promoting canned bamboo shoots here. They're not so good. But no good. No good. Any food if they make canned is no good because you know one of the simple logic, the food is as less preparation as good. Basic Any kind of preparation will be no good. The okay? more you Especially they put in the can. They need to be do something, you know, um, preservative or, you know, something procedural. Okay? So some will be related with poison or toxicity. So now that kind of, uh, you know, natural, 
uh, like you know the bamboo shoot. So we can be get that in local now because the like I mentioned again, you know because the uh, people more know that because the uh, market demand. What about the fa nature of bamboo shoots? So not for if people have like a skin infection or something like this. Uh yeah, that would be depend on the individual. If they had you know something like a <clears throat> related with, um, but actually it's not all the not too strong. Uh, not everybody will be had reaction like that. Okay, good. Okay, then they can be tired. Is uh, you know not very bad as like uh, something else like uh, you know greasy oil or something like uh, barbecue food or you know or you know the something soft drink those kind of things. Okay, so the fire nature is gentle. Bam, yeah, it's gentle. Because okay. the bamboo, basically, in the TCM is what is related. We, we use it many product from the bamboo, like a bamboo leaf, you know, done two year. Then we will be had, you know, the uh, duru, you know, the uh, the bamboo shave, you know, everything's belong to that system. is mm-hmm. cooling. But okay, then, so uh, mm-hmm. not too strong. Don't worry about. Um, mm-hmm some of the usual dietary precautions with bam- mm-hmm. things that grow fast and sprout fast, mm-hmm. then we, we say, mm-hmm. oh, technically the fa nature, <coughs> uh, careful with like a hives or mm-hmm. things like that. Mm-hmm. It may mm-hmm. promote that. Mm-hmm. But what Jeffrey's suggesting, it's a very mild function yeah, and it, it pales mm-hmm. in comparison to barbecue mm-hmm. and hot and spicy and deep mm-hmm. fried. Mm-hmm. It's not that level, just very mild, so not to worry. Mm-hmm. Again, almost no absorbable carbohydrates whatsoever, low calorie, great low calorie, fiber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, bamboo shoots fresh. Mm-hmm. Okay, then the the another one we really talks about the tung sin chai. That same thing too is the you know not common in the American diet. But now I think some people more and more know at that things uh, because you can see uh, you know like a Vietnamese uh, that is the major veggie for them. Okay, they are grow in the water. Okay, of course now in here we uh, you know. Only just very detailed people we know, uh, because the Tung Sin Chai uh, in this country, uh, they can be, uh, you know, go from the uh, water, but many just go from the dry, you know, dry land. Okay? Yeah, uh, that's called Tung Chai, it's the same thing. So whether it's Tung Chai, Tung Choi, Un Choi, mm-hmm. Tung Sin Chai, yeah. I think uh, maybe Vietnamese spinach, is that a, one of the... Uh, I don't know, I, actually. The vernacular. That, oh, yeah, the official, you know, the translation is complicated. Yes, okay? it is. Because that is the, uh, it's totally foreign, you know, vegetable for uh, American diet. Okay, because we don't have that kind of uh, veggie at all. But you know what, uh, that kind of... Uh, Tung Sin Chai original should be grow in the water. Right. But now they uh, put in the dry land. It still can grow, but different type. Different function a little. A little bit different, okay. So then um, uh, they are grow very easily. So then in the summertime, uh, that kind of veggie is considered very economic. People will be uh, selling, it's just like, uh, you know, under $1, okay. So then we'll be what? Similarly, like uh, uh, bamboo shoot, uh, of course the fiber is uh, less, okay, and it's more tender, easy to eat, but it still had a lot of fiber and cooling condition too, because that uh, look like xi yang chai, you know, the uh, watercress, but watercress will be what is more expensive, mm-hmm. because in here not many people grow that, but the tung xin chai, because the Vietnam is like it, so then they commercially to grow and to selling more. Larger quantities. Yeah, quite large uh, We quantities. can get watercress in small quantities in the health food store. Yeah, a little yeah. bit pricey. Mm-hmm. Uh, but would you, would, would, would you recommend watercress for weight loss? Uh, that's good too. Good. But yeah, not as strong, strong as like... Uh, uh, you know, Tung Shin Chai. Tung Shin okay, Chai. Good. Okay. And my favorite, winter melon? Yeah, winter melon would be very interesting too. There will be something related with no taste, okay? A lot of water, okay? So then will be what? Same again, no curry, no carbohydrate. Only just, you know, fiber. But that fiber will be more like a, a absorbent. Because absorbed, that, yeah, 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 absorbed. Yeah. There will be, uh, we mentioned, we, we in the herbal medicine, we, we use it that seeds for the cleansing. Actually, the... 
uh, the name is a little bit tricky. You know, we go say winter melon. Why then? Actually, uh, people are not understanding because you know it's summer more that kind of uh, uh, right. melon. Right. But you know what? The reason one is the outside you can see it, the imaging is green, but also look like white powder on the outside naturally. Mm-hmm. Okay, it look like kind of snow, you know, like frost. I mean, uh, on the outside. And also because the nature is cooling. cooling. So that's what we put the name called winter melon. Actually, it's more harvested in summer. Similar in size, maybe slightly smaller than the watermelon. Winter melon is not nearly as sweet. Uh, it's good for clearing summer heat. It's uh, You can make little chunks and cook in soups. It holds its form well. Mm-hmm. It's very neutral in flavor, but great for clearing uh, summer heat. Mm-hmm. And great to add to the diet to yeah. fill the diet. And also because that uh, is, uh, had pretty strong uh, function to be promote the water. Right. So that's what, because the, um, you know, people who had overweight, often they had uh, water, water stagnation. And again, also the water stagnation can uh, hurt the spleen chi, mm-hmm. therefore lowering the metabolism, which mm-hmm. is why you can also mm-hmm. add yi ren mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. soups mm-hmm. and in cooking, mm-hmm. uh, also to help with the weight and great for the skin yi mm-hmm. ren, so uh, a mm-hmm. good one. And Another, then, yeah, yeah, very recommendation, there will be high diet. Same again, you know, any kind of seaweed, but for my recommendation, uh, you know, don't eat those kind of, I mean, what, uh, it's okay, but not very good with, the, like, you know, the Japanese kind of the, like, sushi, you know, to oh, make the that flat, kind of, uh, yeah, prepared. Uh, yeah. There yeah. will be less uh, fiber and uh, um, yeah. usually they, uh, you know, uh, processed. Yeah, processing too. So we just get that something just look like you get it in the beach. The whole piece of the long strip. Help. Help. That's the what that's we, the best. That's what we're talking about. And if kelp you just say seaweed will be, you know, not so good. Only just that kind of seaweed. That seaweed in particular is our weight loss seaweed. So if you have make dishes, a lot of kelp dishes, and, and one can see many kinds. Yeah. Those dishes in particular make a kelp and tofu dish or, yeah. or mix with these other things. Uh because you can fill up more but lose weight. fiber, more texture. Okay, that you can eat, you know, like a more like a, uh food. Okay, or veggie. Okay, that will be what? Um, instead, then will be another thing, the same thing again. No calorie too. And, uh, you know, no sugar at all. Okay, uh, it's more like fiber. No but, bread. Yeah. There's no uh, candy. Mm. Uh, you know, you're filling up on, on seaweed. You're not going to... No one No one ever got fat from seaweed. I'll tell you that no, right now. Yeah. Not a, I, You know, mm-hmm. remember that the nori roll sushi in a Japanese bar... Mm -hmm. Uh, You can have a fun snack with it. It's tasty. It's dried. But remember that it is highly processed with uh, sugar, with salt, Mm -hmm. oil. So not quite the same as a pure seaweed. In particular, kelp is big, strong, and long Mm -hmm. related to its function. They have more fiber. Yeah, more fiber. cooling, too. Yeah, more Mm -hmm. cooling, stronger function, clears the vessels. Mm -hmm. So really good for uh, the blood circulation in terms of clearing the vessels. Mm -hmm. So again, if we add this into the diet, we, we go a very, very long way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, the acupuncture points uh, around. Yeah, that's what we uh, say, you know, for the uh, abdominal points, actually, we call, you know, the navel points. Right. Because that's what the fat, you know, uh, something like accumulated over there. But mostly people who, where, you know, the position is in the human body is more fat cells. Mainly is abdominal. abdominal. Some will be on the you know, the so butt area. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then we will be more focusing on the actually one of the uh, you know the point prescription or? of the you know acupuncture. They are more focused on the abdominal ah. you know, needle uh, acupuncture. So then we be what because they just more like a local point of kind of condition. Then they will be you know stimulation. Then to be had something changing. Uh, in the you know the uh, local area, so then uh, like we mentioned, we uh, originally uh, in the uh, classical we need to use it the hand to 
you know, to stimulation, to be, you know, um, but now uh, uh, we say, uh, oh, you can do that too, that's good, but um, you can be also, you know, to make um, something like uh, uh, yeast stem to be, make the egg fat uh, stronger. Of course, beside that uh, local pond, uh, we still eat acupuncture, we also, we've been uh, take a look uh, what kind of, uh, you know, diagnosis condition, okay? Then we'd be at something like different points. For example, like, uh, you know, uh, if they had uh, something uh, like a deficiency, okay? Kidney deficiency. So then we can be at something like uh, uh, like kidney free or, you know, uh, or stomach 36 or stomach 40, those kind of points we'd be at. A fair amount of Western research connecting stomach 36 to mm-hmm. weight loss for obviously when there's stomach cheat deficiency, it's great. Even for uh, stomach heat conditions where people always have the appetite, mm-hmm. we use sometimes things like Huang Chin in herbal formulas mm-hmm. to cool things down mm-hmm. a little. But mm-hmm. uh, again, one sun on all sides of the navel. You'll see it in a lot of acupuncture dolls, the mannequins, the mm-hmm. that prescription. Remember CV9, one sun above the navel is special in particular as part of that four points for water stagnation. Uh, Mm -hmm. In fact, if you press on people who tend to have bloated abdomens and distension and pain, you'll find that they'll be very uncomfortable there. You may feel a little sloshing, and that's because the inability to transform and transport water at CB9, and we're there. So this is a great uh, weight loss package. There are many things we can do, but by transforming, imagine replacing the side dish or the snack with seaweed. Well, how many calories does that knock out in a day? Uh, and of course, no soft drinks. Uh, I was in the store the other day. I saw someone just had a, under his arm this giant pack of like, what was it like a 12 or 16 mm-hmm. pack of, of some kind of generic soda? There's so mm-hmm. many calories. Mm-hmm. Not so good. But again, this leads to conditions like diabetes and other, other heart disease issues, which we covered today. So mm-hmm. seaweed actually bridges the gap quite well. And uh, this interferes with the insulin glucagon pathway when people's diets aren't correct. So the body actually preserves fat by uh, uh, having too much insulin production. And uh, so that's some of our things. Remember uh, that we can uh, take our quizzes and everything at healthcmi.com at www.healthcmi.com. Just log in and you can take your quiz uh, afterwards. We've gone over some of those questions. We'll show uh, the video again in just a moment. I want to thank everyone for coming today. Thank you, Jeffrey, also. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I really, I really enjoy doing this mm-hmm. uh, with you. It, there's so much to be learned about dietetics, how to integrate herbal medicines uh, into the food, also to take common foods and use them powerfully as herbal medicines, like we learned about beef shank today. That was That's just great, mm-hmm. uh, that there's a powerful channel-eating herb to benefit tendons, to benefit the legs, and we also used it for varicose veins today. Um, and to really start building our diet out and slowly transforming it long term so that we can avoid things like coronary artery disease. Look forward in coronary artery disease to Western medicine having better imaging techniques. I'm holding out the hope that the laser or the MRI or the ultrasound techniques will be able to detect non-invasively coronary artery blockages. So if we were to combine uh, early diagnosis in that sense with uh, changes in the diet, we wouldn't look for quick changes in a month or two, but over a period of years, is it getting less, is it getting less? So we don't turn around and years later find 95% blockage and it's a medical emergency, a surgical intervention is necessary. Rather, let's start years before. So I always joke, uh, Silicon Valley's over the hill from where we are in Santa Cruz County with Apple Computer and all these big companies. If you wanna be the richest man in the world, invent the perfect imaging device for the coronary artery, please. I beg my patients who are in the high tech, you know, so many work for these big companies because of our location. I know Jeffrey must see a lot of high tech people. Say, would you please invent me an imaging system that works? I've spoken with a lot of radiologists. While there are MRI techniques for detecting blockages in the coronary arteries, they're not perfected yet. It's not the same as passing an actual camera up into the heart, which is an invasive and dangerous procedure necessary for uh, diagnosis at this time, I'm hoping uh, even as soon as some of the recorded video releases of this are released that already there's non-invasive techniques. People can just have a general checkup, check their coronary arteries and say, wait a minute, I'm laying down some plaques and some blockages. Let's change our diet, build in some of the things we've talked about and stay out of trouble.
Again, at www.healthcmi.com, we have our Anytime courses, we have our scheduled courses, which are our webinars. I want to thank everyone for coming. Stay tuned. And uh, Jeffrey, I look forward to our gynecology mm -hmm. and obstetrics webinar coming yeah. up uh, mm -hmm. September mm -hmm. uh, and so many more things coming up uh, throughout the years. We'll be doing uh, one next year. We haven't announced it yet formally on fertility. So look forward to those things. Uh, and we'll be speaking with you soon. Uh, if you have any questions, always with HealthCMI, go to info at healthcmi.com and uh, send us your questions. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Okay, thank you, everybody. Okay, let's take a look at some of the review section now. A lot of uh, what we covered will be reviewed here, so if you want to take notes, go ahead. Uh, in regards to high blood pressure issues with high cholesterol and high triglycerides, Jeffrey uh, spoke a little bit about using Dwe Ming's uh, Shan Sha and Zhu Hua together in uh, tea with Gen Mi Cha, or the Japanese pronunciation Gen Mai Cha, which is a toasted rice tea. And the nice thing about that is that it isn't uh, as, as irritable to the stomach as Shanja Hawthorne, which can also be used. And you could technically mix Shanja into the Dwe Mings of Shanja Juhua Genma Cha Ti, but it's sourness and it's slightly irritable to the stomach. So when you make a nice tea with this combination, uh, it might be better received by patients. And again, it's dietetic, so we can play with a little bit and take out the shanja if it's objectionable. And Dwayne Mings is also very popular in weight loss programs, things like this. So again, we're trying to make it so it's a nice drinking tea, something people will enjoy and be part of their lifestyle as a, he as a healthy lifestyle. So focusing like that, uh, you know, it could be just waving, so maybe lightly toast it in the Genmaicha tea. Taking a look at another topic. The uh, gallbladder stones. The um, Pugong Ying is something uh, that we use in Chinese medicine for infections, uh, especially skin infections. Uh, here, uh, it's the dandelion soup that we are referring to. So, again, we can use dandelion leaf. We can use whole dandelion in the soup. Keep in mind that uh, it's much stronger than the average salad and that when there is an infection we can increase the strength with honeysuckle which has a nice sweet flavor to offset that bitterness and we can add mang xiao uh, which is very very powerful as a salt so again it purges the stool uh, to help purge the GB stone or infection. Jin Chan Chow, uh, of course, is well known for stone, so it can be added. And taking patent medicines or herbal formulas, Li Dan Pian or Lung Dan Xie Gan Tang can be very handy, especially when there's jaundice. So those are some approaches to GB stone and infection. And these are, you know, less culinary dishes than they are home remedies. So the dandelion leaf we normally see in the store is much more gentle than whole wild dandelion. Uh, and again, it will also have a bitterness to it, but a healthy thing to include in the diet. Moving on to our next topic, Shi Lin. So here Jin Chen Chao takes the lead. Um, our gold coin herb is 
Chin Chen Chow, is very famous for its ability to help with stone lin. And Yi Yi Ren, now that's very mild. Again, it's jobs, tears, or pearl barley. And that sometimes can be found in a health food store or standard market, definitely in Asian markets. Uh, Chi Chan Chow, which is is great for the skin in general also. So plantain leaf, and that can be bought through our herb suppliers very easily. It's something people can gather. And plantain leaf, of course, grows abundantly. It's something people can pick in their gardens and in the clinic, we most commonly see Chichan Zi, the seed, uh, part of a standard training. But Chichan Chao is very valuable and something that's abundant. Of course, winter melon, one of my personal favorites, and it goes so well in soups. Uh, it's uh, fantastic in this formula. So again, uh, for stone lin urinary tract stones, uh, Jin Chan Chao Yi Ren Che Chan Zi Dong Gua and winter melon imparts a mildly sweet flavor although it's the size of a small watermelon it's it's not as sweet it holds its form better it's a white flesh to the melon and it's great in a lot of soups and is in traditional uh, Chinese cuisine is commonly used so this is a great formula for that. Let's take a look uh, at another review item that came up, and that is for the treatment of constipation. Here, uh, pine nuts. Again, that's uh, traditional for yang deficiencies. Pine nuts and quite flavorful walnuts also for the young but again those oils uh, in the walnuts in the pine nuts are very helpful also so you're nourishing the young lubricating the large intestine homara and same thing with the fire freckled brown seed of uh, cannabis and chicken egg so mix uh, with a powder and make a pan pancake and it's great for uh, kidney young deficiency uh, this is uh, a good tonic for people uh, also who suffer from infertility and we'll go over some details of another type of uh, pancake actually using a little bit of shrimp also and chives for people with infertility so the pancake form is uh, not unusual in uh, Chinese medicine and uh, also omelet really so the uh, infertility omelet is can be quite tasty so when using the uh, eggs and the chives and the shrimp here uh, focusing on constipation pine nuts, walnuts, cannabis seed, chicken egg, and uh, something handy, uh, probably apart from the cannabis seed, you know, very common ingredients. So something handy that we have around the house that can help people. Remember also for constipation, uh, just have walnuts before bed with a little honey and hot water, you know, so drink a little hot water tea and then the walnuts for yang deficiency related constipation for ulcerative colitis and IBS we took a look at the treatment of uh, lower jaw damp heat type with uh, purslane and it is such it's such a wonderful and abundant herb it's quite tasty has a nice gentle sourness to it uh, it's definitely part of high cuisine uh, when prepared properly uh, in some ways it adds a rustic charm to really nice plates so this is just something that's extremely healthy for the human body and would be great just to have as a standard it grows everywhere like a weed so there's no problem if you want to have some in the garden uh, 
you can eat it after blanching it and drink the soup. Uh, and it, it goes great. Like even if serving something like salmon, you can just put a nice piece on top and serve, right? So it goes well as a garnish that can be eaten. And so purslane is a uh, pretty incredible, in some ways underused uh, garnish and herbal medicine. Pugangying, once again, also for its antitoxin properties. And uh, again, this can be cooked with dried persimmon, the two together. And that adds a little sweetness to offset the bitterness of the Pugong Ying. And this is a pretty sophisticated flavor. You'll have to play around with it a little bit and maybe with our other culinary ingredients we've gone over because uh, you have the sweet from the persimmon, the bitter from the dandelion, and the sour from the purslane. So uh, you have a lot of fun in the kitchen with that one. Let's take a look at another slide on IBS here. Um, here, we're going for uh, the lower jaw uh, issues with yang deficiency. So, uh, kind of a take on uh, fu zi li zhong tang. So, fu zi gan zhang zhi gan chow, cooked with lean pork meat soup over scorched rice. So, a lot of dietetics is a take on an herbal formula, sometimes simplified with more common ingredients, ingredients that can be found easily or prepared in a way that uh, has more of a culinary approach. And it be consistent with, uh, with the recipe. So in other words, for yang deficiency, you can add things that ton of young uh, and not too much focusing on herbs or foods that clear damp heat so you know, warming foods can be used again you could switch out the pork meat with something like chicken for example and this is a simple formula for lower jowl IBS ulcerative colitis with yang deficiency. Now let's take a look at another slide. Uh, and this next slide that we'll be looking at, we'll get a little bit into uh, gastric ulcers because that's uh, something that's actually quite common. And in Chinese medicine, I think we handle that pretty well. Uh, in herbal medicine with acupuncture, but also culinary cuisine can enhance that. So if there's stomach bleeding, san chi powder, tian chi, san chi, and fresh lotus stem. And this is, uh, I make juice from that, but this is something that I would say can be found in health food stores. For example, in my area in Santa Cruz County, there is uh, one good health food store that commonly has the uh, lotus, but most don't. Asian markets commonly have it, very popular, and eggs. So for this recipe, crack the eggs into uh, the fresh juice and add the sun chi powder. So this is a pretty powerful formula and prepare. So again, add it to the diet will have a very, very, very soothing aspect to the stomach. And on the other side, if the stomach is cold and deficient, that's a pork stomach. So stomach to stomach theory using pork. Uh, plus white pepper. So it's that warming property. Um, again, if, some, if someone uses black pepper and something very warming like goat, uh, just not the stomach, but if that's what they have, then that would work in terms of warming. 
uh, also lamb, which is a very warming meat. And these are as opposed to cooling foods, like fish, for example, tends to be more cooling. Uh, the idea is to warm up the stomach. And here, the pork stomach is chosen because of its stomach-to-stomach -stomach properties. And now, let's take a look at GERD. GERD and stomach ulcers. This is the high pao shao cream we talked about, and it's a cuttlefish bone. That can be found sometimes easily. Uh, plus, uh, black sesame, also more common. Uh, and this is mixed uh, with a powder, into a powder, with honey, and boiled. And uh, we can make it with water as a cream. So very soothing uh, to the stomach, again, and good for GERD. I think in the uh, clinic, this is something that can be treated very successfully, even with uh, patent medicines. And it's surprising. There's uh, usually uh, two major causes. We commonly see a post-nasal drip leaking kind of a dampy bacteria into the gastric system. We have cheese stagnation. We also have stomach heat. So there's a, there's a bunch of reasons uh, in deficiency. But uh, moving on to our next slide. Now, diabetes. Uh, Jiao Gulan with Wu Shui Ye. They leave the Ye. Uh, we normally see Wu Shui Tongue. And more of a from a herbal supplier, and also jiao gulan with uh, bitter melon as a tea. Uh, also can be used, and bitter melon very common in Asian markets. Uh, I've not yet seen it in uh, what you would call health food store yet, and also uh, jiao gulan with. American ginseng, so Shi Yang Shen. So Jagulan has a nice balancing effect on the blood sugar, as does Wu Shui Ye, and also Wu Shui Tang, um, referring to the vine and the leaf. So these are two very important. herbal medicines that have a food-like property. So Jagulan in the Asian market uh, is often found in little tea bags that people can uh, easily make into a tea. And uh, we can get Jagulan just as a straight patent medicine. Uh, we can also, of course, put it into tea, um, you know, herbal formulas. And a lot of the history of Jagulan goes uh, in Chinese medicine goes uh, to about the 17th century where it was treating a lot of lung disorders uh, so it does help open up the breathing and benefit the general immune system and in this case we're using it to help stabilize the blood sugar so a little Jagulan tea in the diet it's a nice thing to do and for a diabetic anything that keeps that blood sugar rock steady is a great choice in the diet. Uh, remember to tell patients not to add a lot of sugar, cream, and honey to their tea. Uh, to this day, the diabetics keep asking me, oh, can I add a little sugar? Say, not really. Let's take a look at another topic. So this diabetes is uh, yam leaf with tung shin chai, definitely uh, something you would need to see uh, more in the Asian market. And when visiting an Asian market, it reminds me of uh, sometimes, you know, the larger ones, how limited the selection we have is for the greens um, in our markets. And keep in mind also that the greens have a balancing effect on blood sugar and as Americans, we, we eat salad. But if you were to steam your salad, it would become very small and a, really a minuscule amount of greens. So think of an Asian meal where there's a big, giant plate of greens. 
that's been steamed down. It's a lot. So the American diet is, is definitely lacking. Again, yam leaf, tung shin chai, bitter melon skin in a vinegar salad, or you can make soup. So this is uh, one handy dandy item. Also black rice uh, vinegar and pickle raw peanuts uh, or raw egg uh, or cooked soybean. So that's another dish uh, which you will see more commonly uh, in Asian cuisine. Remember the, the black rice vinegar has a sweetness to it, so think of it more as a formula. And the black rice vinegar is often used in cooking, so it's often available in very, very large quantities. But very tasty uh, also in the culinary side. Weight control. Well, we did touch on that. Uh, no soft drinks. Very popular in America. It's definitely one of those dastardly things that is causing uh, enormous problems in the American diet. Uh, no ice water. So what's happening there? Ice water, it's cold, hitting the stomach. So it slows the metabolism down. So it's, it's, it's in a way, it's tricking the body into thinking it's kind of like a wintry environment. So that's a standard Chinese medicine recommendation. No surprises there. I think if I told people to go out and drink lots of soda and ice water, that might be quite odd. Uh, I don't like to demonize any food. So in a pinch, you know, if someone's getting sunstroke, they can sip a little bit of soda you know, the salt and sugar might bring them back. And the, everything can be used in a healthy way in the right timing. And, I, you know, we say in Chinese medicine lately, it's come out that as long as there's food in the food, it's not filled with chemicals, then we have to draw a line somewhere. So bamboo shoots, fresh or dry with tung shin chai, winter melon, seaweed, and tofu. And what a great combination. Uh, alone... Uh, different mixes uh, matching with these foods. These are foods that belong in the weight control diet. Uh, the four gates of the abdomen, stomach 25, CV11, CV4, uh, with electro stem. And these are things that can help in weight control. All right, let's take a look at another topic and uh, herbal cuisine for uh, hypertension and uh, high cholesterol. The 22358 soup. So lean pork meat, heimu er, the black fungus, hung zhao, and water. This can easily be made into a flavorful dish. Some things lend themselves uh, to being made into something flavorful. Um, swap out the lean pork meat with something else if you like. And then, you know this could also be converted to a vegetarian dish quite easily. So the use of heimu urn particularly for thinning the blood and for its use in hypertension, high, high cholesterol related hypertension is very valuable. So, Heimu Er probably won't be an issue if someone's taking something like Coumadin, Morphin, you know, blood thinners, but it does add to the thinness. Some people are very sensitive. So, if they have just a little bit more greens in the diet, next thing you know, their INR is off. Uh, likewise, a uh, hemu er could uh, go in the opposite direction. So some things will thicken the blood, some things will thin the blood. Uh, it's it's a little bit of a dance when people are taking that type of medication because they're always trying to balance their levels and keep the blood at the correct coagulation level. 
Um, Hemu Ur is quite strong and it's great in the diet. It can have uh, very great clinical results, but again, minimal side effects. So not something we would worry about, but we would let the patient know it could affect their levels when they check with their doctor and keep an eye on their INR, see how that's going, uh, how thin their blood is. Taking a look at uh, another slide, uh, the high diludotang is appropriate. Also, high zao kanbu mu er huang do tang. And shan sha ju hua plus to cha ti. So, um, you can take any uh, to cha, you know, good black tea, or um, if not to cha, you can use uh, like a higher grade, like a pu er. And then mix with the shan sha and ju hua. Again, if someone can handle the shan sha, the sourness, and uh, if it doesn't irritate their stomach. And you can think, you know, again, swap that out. Maybe the pu er or to cha tea with uh, something like ju hua and maybe dui ming zi. Again, we're trying to find acceptable solutions for lifestyle. A lot of issues with uh, hypertension, high cholesterol, high triglycerides. Also, uh, stress is genetically caused, but also uh, dietary. So we're trying to not only put healthy things in the diet, but what are we doing instead? Uh, so we're replacing an unhealthy diet with a healthy diet, which also has a great value for the patient. And looking uh, now at the treatment of high blood pressure and cholesterol and triglycerides. Jue Ming Zhe Shan Jia Ju Hua Gen Mi Cha. So we've covered this. Uh, Jue Ming Zhe very handy. It can be lightly toasted uh, with the Shan Jia, the Ju Hua, the Gen Mi Cha. And uh, remember, again, the hawthorn, uh, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing for cholesterol, but again, it's very sour. I may not agree with people, or just use less, you know, one little piece, two little pieces. And let's take a look. Um, we'll review once again also the treatment of coronary artery disease. So... Again, a Shan Jia is going to be very handy with Hong Hua and Xie Bai. And again, shallots are not as strong as Xie Bai, but can be used. Uh, again, cooking with shallots in general is something that is very helpful. Opening up the chest qi. Think of Xie Bai as more as medicinal strength. In shallots, we can have culinary strength. Uh, so you can cook uh, these in foods. Uh, you can boil with hot water or soaking in hot water and drinking. Um, kind of a soup. So people with angina pain uh, and trying to benefit uh, the health of the arteries. So this is something we can use. And... Also, people with coronary artery disease, uh, a decoction of sun chi and hung hua, saffron, something we can find easily in the store, but uh, you know the herbal grade that we get is so much less expensive than uh, food grade, but you can take a little bit of food grade as a, kind of a culinary style and mix with sun chi. And sun chi with shan jia as a decoction, also, uh, a little drinking tea and sanchi powder uh, with hemu er with chicken or lean pork meat as a soup. Uh, now, that's something one could refine into a flavorful dish with the spicing uh, properly. And so that's our review. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we'll be taking a look at some of our 
herbs now as a quick review. Uh, enjoy this. So we see a lot of our herbs dried, but isn't it great to see them fresh? So, you know, here we have some fresh gugan in the marketplace, uh, common in Asian markets. And some tang choy, something very common in Asian markets, a great green to have. Uh, we'll let this roll through so you can really enjoy seeing uh, some of our herbs like Ujie here, which you can see in a standard health food store also sometimes. In uh, terms of getting the quizzes and certificates, a completion, again, you can retake your quizzes as needed. Uh, so don't worry too much if you don't get it first time around. This is meant to be a learning experience while getting your CEUs, your PDAs, your CEs, your CAEs. Um, so we make it easy to get back online, take another quiz. Then you get your certificate of completion and just keep that printed for about four years, save it on your computer. Uh, you know, some people ask, oh, you know, for example, in Florida, do you send it to the CE broker? Yes, we do. Uh, everything is California approved for the California Acupuncture Board, the NCCOM, which covers almost every state. And we have other individual approvals for different states. And you can go to www.healthcmi.com and look all that up. So basically, if you are a licensed acupuncturist in the United States, uh, we have courses for you because uh, health CMI courses are national. Also, Canada, uh, parts of Canada, and sometimes, uh, depending on the course, we uh, pre-approve for Australia and other areas. So just log in with your username and password to at www.healthcmi.com. Uh, then the courses, tests, and certificates menu appears. Click on acupuncturists, and uh, it'll take you right into the system. And so anytime you need to re-download uh, anything, you can do that. So for example, this course has a nice uh, PDF document. You can download that references to this web page where you can view this. You simply can re-download that as you want. You can re-download it on your phone. You can re-download it on uh, different computers, uh, tablets, etc. Uh, and your username and password is what you made when you first purchased the course. Uh, you should have an email copy of that sent to you. If you do have any difficulty with that, just hit the contact button and let us know your name. And we'll help straighten that all out for you. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed uh, this process of the dietetics. We have many dietetics courses at Health CMI, both written and video. So Professor Pong, uh, it, it has been a, a great pleasure working with him over the years, and he brings a wealth of information for generations of experience. And being uh, the department chair in uh, herbology, also dietetics, and the clinic and theory of five branches and the founder of their cu curriculum for both locations of five branches university uh, it's a absolute honor to work with professor pong i want to thank him again for joining us and presenting this dietetics webinar dietetics is something that deserves more and more attention as we see that the failings of the diets of people sometimes can lead to big trouble. And oh, here's the black chicken, Wuji. So again, a great tonic chicken. You can see it in comparison to some other chickens there. Have to uh, mention some of these things as they come up. Uh, foot to foot treatment right there. So anyway, uh, thank you once again for joining us. If you have any questions also uh, about the course material, feel free to contact us also. My name is Adam White, licensed acupuncturist. Thank you for joining us at uh, www.healthcmi.com. Acupuncture, continuing education online.